Hey everyone, welcome to Nintendo Prime. I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jansen. Today we're going to be talking about a big story involving Nintendo hiring Bandai Namco to remaster a 3D action adventure game. And we all know Nintendo really only has one 3D action adventure franchise, at least one active one. So, we're going to talk about that here, uh, but before we do, I just want to say, hey, if this is the first time you've checked out a video, we're on that road to 80,000 subscribers, so I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, maybe hit that bell icon so you're notified of all future Nintendo and other gaming news. Also, hey, drop a like and leave a comment, and you know what, down in that comment section, let me know what is your most anticipated game yet to release on Switch in 2022. Let me know down there. All right. Let's get right into this news, and we got Nintendo Everything here, who did a great job uh, bringing this all together. Uh, so it says a few inter interesting job listings have recently popped up on Bandai Namco's website, involving in what appears to be a remake of a 3D action game in collaboration with Nintendo. The first posting, and we'll, we'll get all these postings open here, um, is for a planner, which explicitly mentions how the project is a 3D action game contracted by Nintendo. And that's what's going to be on this page here. You can see career adaption 3D action game designer. Um, going on down here, uh, you see it's a Nintendo contracted project. Uh, full-time contract employee, trial period six months, trial period three months before they hire you on. Responsible for a 3D action game planner game concept in a collaboration with the background art team, stage and level design according to the game design, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So that's really exciting there. All right. And then it says similar language is then brought up on a page regarding Bad Dynamical Search for a visual artist. For the final listing, we see the first mention of the title being a remaster or remake. So we'll just glance at this one here. It says career adapter 3D action game 3D background HD remaster. So they're actually looking for someone to remaster some stuff. So that's really, really interesting there. All right, Ben and Amco and Nintendo have maintained a close relationship over the years. Uh, they did come together to work on Super Smash Bros. for Wii U and 3DS, as well as Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's also rumored that they were the original developers of Metroid Prime 4, but we don't really uh, know that for sure. Um, they did contribute a little bit on Mario Kart 8 and ARMS as well. And they did develop Hawken Tournament and new Pokemon Snap. So Mandan Amco clearly is a consistent partner company for Nintendo. Uh, if the upcoming project is a simple remaster, we could see the game visuals spruced up and perhaps a few extra features. A proper remake could involve more, etc., etc., etc. And this obviously leads us to wonder, what the hell are they remaking, remastering? What are they doing? Because 3D action games, I mean... Eh, you start to think about 3D action games and you think about Nintendo and you think obviously things like Metroid maybe, but that's more of a, you know, sort of in its own, um, you know, genre. It's like an FPS. Um, it's a, an adventure. It, it, it's, it's a Metroidvania, right? We know that. So, um, you know, you, they're obviously probably not working on Mario. Nintendo would do a lot of that in-house. So I, I do wonder if this is a hint that Ben and Amco is actually working on something for Zelda. And that's only because the obvious is obvious, you know, 3D action game, action adventure, that Zelda is like the big IP they have that does that. And you start to wonder, well, Twilight Princess and the Wind Waker HD already are done and like can easily be ported. You wouldn't think you'd need to hire Bandai Namco to really do anything to that game. You just got to change the UI of it. You definitely wouldn't need to hire a visual artist to mess with the background if you're just porting over those Zelda games. So I, I, I kind of find it hard to believe that they're just working on like the Wind Waker and Twilight Princess HD. Uh, if I was thinking they were doing something Zelda wise, I start to wonder, are they remaking like Ocarina of Time or Majora's Mask. I know Grezzo brought those games to 3DS, but maybe Nintendo wants to do more than give them the Miitopia treatment, or Miitopia just got like an HD port over, and instead, they actually want these to be full-up remakes. Uh, so it's going to be really interesting to see what comes of this. Obviously, since we're just finding out about this now through Hiring Post, we aren't sure how long this partnership's been going on. 
if this game's already been in, you know, in development for a year or two and they're just adding to the team. Uh, or maybe development is just starting now since these are like contract temporary things. Maybe, maybe they're just testing out the waters now uh, and they'll do it later. But it is notable that we do know the facts are this. There's a 3D action something sort of remake being in the works by Bandai Namco contracted by Nintendo. So it is Nintendo paying for a game to be made. And when that's the case, it's usually something from Nintendo's back catalog. So we're going to have to wait and see what this is. I obviously leave this up to you guys to kind of examine and uh, dig deeper into. I did go through all the hiring posts and couldn't really glean anything out of it other than, you know, hey, I think it's a Zelda game. I could be wrong. Of course, that is just speculation. You guys let me know if there's a different game you think it could be down in the description. That being said, I do want to apologize that we are not doing a live stream today. Uh, YouTube's having all sorts of issues. In fact, if this video even gets up when I want it to get up, I will be completely shocked because I'm having all sorts of problems with YouTube. And it hasn't been just YouTube. A lot of other places have as well. Uh, YouTube was even down for a while. A video I put up like stopped getting views like out of nowhere. It... It's been a really weird day. This happens, server problems. I know, I work in IT, so uh, the fact that so many services are affected means there's obviously a major clusters being impacted by something, whether it's just internet failures, whether it's hardware failures or storms or what, whatever's going on. We obviously uh, are just guessing at this point, uh, but I've had a hard time trying to get a stream even set up, yet somehow I can still upload videos. It's a really weird thing, and I've seen other people live on YouTube, even like right now, so the fact that I can't get my thing set up, I don't know, it's weird. Like, my last video has timestamps in it, even though there's no timestamps on the video. And I'm not talking about YouTube adding timestamps. They're actually timestamps from a former video that I didn't even copy-paste the description from. So the timestamps never existed on that video. I... Whatever, YouTube being YouTube. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.